Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today we are back with our annual Valentine's Day Lush haul. Admittedly, I didn't get every new product that Lush released for Valentine's Day this year, but I did get some new products and I'm really excited to show you guys today. So I got this big old bag here. So there were some repeat items I noticed that Lush came out with, like Prince Charming was back. Um, I know I think they introduced that last year. Um, last year, we had like a peach bath bomb. We had an eggplant bath bomb. Both of those now come in soaps. What else? I know they had Love Boat, which was still available again this year, but I didn't get it because I had gotten it last year. I did try to get all new products um, for my personal collection or what I've tried in the past, so we're just gonna dive right in. in. No particular order. I think I have like maybe five products to show you guys here. Um, oh, <laughs> I kind of want to save this one for last though. It was so funny. It was so cute. So the first thing we're gonna dive into I guess I can show you guys is the eggplant soap I ended up getting the eggplant and not the peach this year just because I prefer the eggplant um Mm, scent better than the peach. So here it is. It does look exactly like the eggplant bath bomb. I think it might be just a little tiny bit smaller if not like really close in size. Um, but again, the only difference is that it is a soap instead of the actual bath bomb. I did love the bath bomb though. It turned the water like this beautiful murky plummy purple. It smelled so, so, so good. So this little guy retails for $6.95. Forget cards, flowers, and chocolate. Get steamy this Valentine's Day with a bar soap in the same scandalous shape as our best-selling bath bomb. Hop in the shower and lather up with this moisturizing base of coconut oil, then inhale the refreshing grounding fragrance bread blend of auger Aubergine, Aubergine, I don't know, they talk, <laughs> lemony, holy crap, lemon and calming hoewood oil for external use only, please, <laughs> ew. So the fresh ingredients are the fresh auger, aubergine, which is an antioxidant, and then the bergamot oil. I mean, I wish there was like an option to smell it through the camera. Obviously, we're not there yet, but it smells really, really good. I would recommend if you're around a Lush to go in and smell it for yourself. I would recommend the bath bomb too. It was amazing. I want to get my hands on another one. I don't know why I didn't just go and buy it while I was at Lush today. It's best selling for a reason. It smells so delicious. So that is our first new product. I'm like looking in here, I'm like, what did I buy? <laughs> So this is a bath bomb. I know that this is new and it reminds me, it's, it's pretty sentimental because my cousin who had passed away, I mean years ago, um, but she passed away and her thing is like butterflies. Anytime that we see butterflies, we think of Diamond. Um, that was her name. So they came out with this little butterfly bath bomb. This is called the Rose Butterfly. This uh, retails for $6.95. This pretty rose butterfly is filled with a soothing blend of rose and Sicilian lemon oils. It takes flight the moment it hits the bath, creating swirls of pink and purple, which is honestly kind of perfect. I didn't, aww, <laughs> because my cousin Diamond, those were her two favorite colors, this pink and purple, so... That's really sweet. That flit and float across the surface of the water, cornstarch and cream of tartar soak and soften to leave the skin feeling as smooth as can be. The fresh ingredients are rose oil and the Sicilian lemon oil. I definitely feel like I can I can pick up more of like the floral notes than the citrusy notes, but I feel like this is just gonna be a visually beautiful bath bomb, so. I don't know, I might let um, end up letting Ella enjoy this one and I'll just enjoy the colors and the uh, kind of the, sen the sentiment that this has to me. <laughs> it is also like kind of like 3D. I don't know if the camera was picking that up or not, but the wings are, like it's not just like a flat bath bomb. So I thought that was pretty cool. Next we have this bath bomb, which I didn't originally see on the website. So let me see. I gotta find it real quick. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this one is called the Floating Flower. Um, this retails for $7.95, and it is quite larger than the other bath bombs that we have. Now, this one is interesting, because you can see on the top how it's like, 
Uh, it's like a different texture. It's almost like a soapy kind of texture while the rest of it is like a bath bomb. One flowers with a little more lasting power. This beautiful balm comes equipped with fresh chrysanthemum coated in rich cocoa butter. Wait, is that a real flower? Coated in rich cocoa butter, so that's what I must be feeling and now feeling it again like that's it's very like that kind of oily texture. It slowly melts in the bath as you bathe. It is also packed with a bold mind clearing blend of almond and lavender oils for fresh scent that's reminiscent reminiscent of a crisp of crisp clean laundry it does have a very clean smell to it the fresh ingredients are lavender oil and the fair trade organic cocoa butter so that's interesting i don't under the ingredients it does say fresh uh fresh chrysanthemum that's a hard one to say but i don't know i'm curious because it's like i think there was like a real I might be so dumb, but there might be a real flower locked in that cocoa butter, which is like so much cooler knowing that <laughs> after I bought it. I didn't know that in store, but that is really, really cool. Um, but again, this kind of has more of like that clean scent um, than like a floral or a citrus scent. Oh getting all messy. I have one more product before I'm going to show you the last product from Valentine's Day. I don't think this one specifically is a Valentine's Day product and I bought it honestly because I really liked the look of it and I'm like oh my gosh that's gonna make the bath look so cool. Oh let me show you guys real quick about the the one that I just showed you with the flower. Sorry I've been having so many issues with my phone recently. I think it's almost time for an upgrade. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to spend that. No, thank you. Okay, so with the floating flower, let me show you guys the picture on the actual website. So I am Lush USA, but you can kind of see like on the top of the flower how it has like like the little, like it looks like more like a flower. You know what I mean? Where mine doesn't have that. So that's why I keep saying like I truly think that maybe fresh flowers are actually in that, but I'm, I also don't want to sound dumb, so <laughs> I'm going to leave that up to you guys to find out. <laughs> okay, back to this one. I was trying to find it. Look at how cool this one looks. It is so colorful. It reminds me of a unicorn, which always reminds me of my daughter. Will you remember me? This one, honestly, I, I it, it's got to be kind of new. It's not under like the new category, but I'm in Lush, not all the time, but enough to like notice when new bath bombs are in store. But this is called the Groovy Kind of Love, so it's pretty fitting with Valentine's Day, no? Um, this retails for $7.95 as well, melting into rings of rainbow color. Groovy Kind of Love will fill your tub with peace, love, and beautifully scented harmony. Rosewood, 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 bergamot, which is one of my favorite scents, and Lang Lang oils release a peaceful, uplifting, uplifting scent that will surround you in a loving embrace like a crowd at Woodstock. <laughs> Sink deep, inhale, and emerge from the tub feeling rejuvenated, balanced, and refreshed. So the freshing... Hi, bud. My kitty cat's here. Um, the fresh ingredients are ro rosewood oil and bergamot oil. Oh, I love it. I don't know what it is. I inhaled some of that. Oh, this smells so good. I'm still like a tiny bit stuffy from the cold that lasted three weeks, but oh, it smells so delicious. This is probably one of my favorite scented products that I bought today, but I can't wait to like actually see all the colors and that's gonna be a lot of fun. Last but not least is the cutest product I have ever purchased from Lush. <laughs> Um, honestly, I'm actually a big fan of Lush's massage bars. I do want to pick some more up. The last one that I got, like, I used all of it. I loved how it made my skin feel and how it made my skin smell. So this one is called Naked Attraction, and I literally hope I don't get demonetized for this one. Look at his little butt cheeks. <laughs> He's so cute. I mean, I'm touching him, and I definitely feel, like, the oil, like, Look at his little bum. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I love everything about it. It's amazing. This retails for $10.95. No buts about it. They had to. <laughs> no buts about it. This is one of our most soothing 
smoothing massage bars to date. Um, the lady at the store who is helping me get some new products, um, she did say that this was one of their most moisturizing massage bars and it's literally melting in my fingertips. Um, plenty of fair trade coconut, uh, organic cocoa and fair trade shea butters let this booty full bar <laughs> melt on contact with skin. Like I said, it's, it's currently melting. Providing you with a hydrating oil like slip that makes rubbing out tough knots and tension easy as pie. Plus, we added a heavenly romantic fragrance of jasmine lang lang and osmanthus to set the mood perfectly. And no, you do not need to be naked to give a massage, but it certainly wouldn't hurt. <laughs> The ingredients are the shea butter and the cocoa butter. This does feel amazing. It is like, look, look at my hand already. Oh my goodness gracious. Like some massage bars, like the ones that I've tried in the past, like you gotta kind of rub it in and let the um, heat of your skin kind of work it, but literally just touching that is making it melt on my fingers and I could definitely use some moisturizer. So that is probably my favorite product that I picked up today because I just, I love the look of it, but I am gonna to keep it in a little baggie to keep it safe and so it doesn't hopefully melt on me. So that is it you guys for this Valentine's Day Lush haul. I love it. I can't wait. Maybe I think Easter is the next time they come out with. So in April, we'll be revisiting Lush and getting some new products. Um, I definitely, like I said, they, they came back with Prince Charming, they came back with Love Boat, um, they still had eggplant bath bomb available, which I actually believe, don't quote me, but I believe the assistant said that was gonna become like an all year round sort of thing, and as a bestseller, that's probably a good idea. Um, but I really liked the new products. I think they smell amazing. There's some of my favorite scents in the products that I picked up today. Also, shout out to my $10 sweater. <laughs> This is weekend plans. You guys might have been wondering because all you can see is a little cat's face and I wanted to wear something comfortable. I'm currently at the end of my pregnancy and I'm just kind of like over it at the moment. So, um, but again, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we had. If you did, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. I'm hoping to maybe do a release teaser of, of Lush. Um, I found one for Christmas. I found one of this upcoming Valentine's Day, but I didn't film it. So maybe we'll do like a teaser for Easter and then um, we can figure out what products we want to get and stuff. And I just really enjoy these and I know my daughter will be super excited to see some new bath bombs to play with. So thank you guys again for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.